Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Asian Report. We'll just be covering the ASX and the Nifty. And with the ASX 200 here in very simple terms is that the move up off the current low here um, is in three waves. There's an A wave, a B wave and a C wave. So it can fail from this point and it can move all the way down and make a new low here. Uh, the other point to this though is on the positive side, the move up here can be wave one, wave two, and wave three here, and then wave four would pull back to the 38.2%. So it would have an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave back here, and then would move up from this particular point here into wave five. Uh, and then we would have an A and a B and a C correction, and then a move up from this area through here. So um, yeah, we just need to have a little bit of a strategy uh, with all of this. And yeah, let's go in and, and have a look at the uh, the long side of this and the short side of this. But before I do that, this also shows up in stocks as well. So if I just bring up the trading levels charting program here, this is A and Z here, and uh, WBC would be the same. Um, um, CBA is a little bit different because this low here has started. Um, on the well um, the 24th of the 12th so Christmas um, a late Santa run perhaps uh, um, but the correction for CBA was I think it was basically around around the October mark starting over here somewhere so slight difference here but still what I just want to point out here is that we can look at this here as an A wave and a B wave and then there's basically one and two and three and four and five up here for, for either an A and a B and a C or one and two and three. This is the dilemma that we have so I can give you a bias but it's better off just um, understanding the both sides of the market on an equal basis and then coming up with a strategy for those. So. Um, once again here if we look at this low here roughly in here then we can look at a 38.2% retracement level uh, coming into, um, in, in, into this particular space uh, here so from here a bit of a correction like that and then we would see a move to the upside because there's an extension in the third wave here then we can look at uh, wave one here being roughly the same size as um, wave five coming into play. And then we would need to look at the, um, the retracement level from this particular high here, coming back in here once again to um, into this particular space uh, here for an ABC back. And then we would see a move up from there. So um, there's a couple of things here. I mean, if just as a strategy, and this is for stock as well, um, if if this this is a little bit like a switch setup on the short side here, so um, what we can do is we can pretty much short this low here. Um, it may only get us down to the um, down to the thirty eight point two percent mark here. So from this low here. This is the same as the ASX as well. So it may only get us down into this down. Whoops, where's my drawing tool for this one over here? So it may only get us down into the 25, 35 sort of area through here and then come back and bounce off off us. So we would need to perhaps consider a couple of things here is that if we took a short trade here, um, then um, we just have a smaller position in this space and with the view of adding later. But the good thing about this though is that if we did take that short trade, there's also the possibility that it can move down uh, further from this as well. Not much further, while well, making a new low actually. So then that puts us into that space there. And also on the long side as well, um, Friday is in a, in a bullish weekly cycle. Friday and Monday are the bullish day. So if we looked at um, the ASX 200 here, 
we could look at this in terms of, well, where would we go long within this particular space if the market just went straight up from here? Okay, so in that case, if I just go to the hourly chart just to cut through some of this here. So I was looking at this as an A wave and a B wave here, which really needs to finish here, which is the 50-60% retracement level here. So in the bigger picture here, if this market makes um, support on 5.9 here, then that's going to put us into uh, bullish mode at that particular point. Otherwise, we'll come back down to minimum here at the fourth wave of one lesser degree here. So with this market here, on the short side here, we can see that um, the market has got support um, within group two here. So it's a little bit hard to see on the hourly chart, but if I put that on a on the tick chart here, which is a 20 tick, not um, not 100 ticks, just to be a little bit clearer here. What you can see across here is that the market's moved up into group two here. So group two is 65, 72 and 80. And then we've got 59 and we've got one, two, three here. So, you know, you just wouldn't short this market unless group two here was the retested resistance. And this market has come up here right um uh found resistance within group two but then in its own way through this particular space here it's converted or migrated from being resistance to support here and then it supported itself here so realistically this would be a long trade um here just for the simple fact that it's on on sitting on group two here so um, yeah, look, if group two here becomes the resistance and perhaps even short it here, um, on this case, this scenario here, um, that because that would be the resistance at 72 here, otherwise we're going to see this market uh, move higher. So um, yeah, uh, having the five nine as support would be helpful, but also taking this high out here as well would be, um, would be the, uh, short uh, long trade from here as well so this is the same for um I'll just move this over here it's just a working chart and this is the same for you know the other s stocks in here as well in terms of the banks so um wbc is a little bit more lazier actually the anz has moved up really nice and strong and long here but when we look at um, WBC, its move up through here is a bit more sort of lazy in a way. So we've got this nice strong first wave here, then back here. And then if you've got a keen eye in the third wave here, you can see that we've got one and two in here and three and four and five in here. So um, a little bit lazier here. So one of the things here we can watch is that um, this top here, for instance, that would be wave one. If this market moves through here, then we know that this then this move would be corrective at that particular stage, unless we counted this as up for one and back for two, up for one and back for two here. And it also looks like we've got um, little five waves in here. So it's possible that we can get um, a little ABC in here and then down from uh, down from this point uh, down down from this point here I've just got to get my things working here so anyway um, yeah down from that point so um, yeah uh, and CBA which is nine percent of the index is completely different because CBA has um, if I just put on 72 here, um, 72 sort of important. So what we were looking for with CBA is, is all of this move up here being uh, corrected. It started, you know, uh, either on one of these lows here, I think it's this low here, and we've looked at this here as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave for the A wave back for the B wave and then actually there's five waves up here no it doesn't look it but um, five waves up here so we can certainly have a top in here um, so shorting these lows uh, here would be um, what we would do here also to the 72 is important to me in terms of the trading levels so um, it's sitting up there at the moment 
Um, but um, dropping back below that now would put this into a short position, which would put the ASX into a short position as well. So, um, yeah, the banks dominate the ASX. That's why I'm sort of focused on um, on, on on these markets at the moment. So um, that's it in a bit of a nutshell. So let's just give it a little bit of space because we've also got to think of... Um, the European markets and also the um, US markets as well within all of this mix here as well. So um, a little bit of patience here, um, just to recap, short below the group two here and looking to go long on top of five nine if that's the case. Um, and that would trigger that if this high here was breached here, then would be on the on the long side for that. Also for the uh, Indian market, with the Indian market, just in the bigger picture here, is that we can have wave three over here with an A wave here, a B wave here, and a C wave here for wave four, as in pretty much as an expanded flat correction. And then we would see this as a bullish move to the upside here. I wasn't going to label this a bullish move until um, until we've got support on top of the 61.8%, which is around the 11,070 odd in here, or just the 11,000 would be fine. Then we can start labeling this in a, in a bullish manner. I can label it in a bullish manner. We have done that here on this particular chart here, where we would have from the low here of wave four over here, um, all the way up for wave one and back for wave two here and then up for one here, an A and a B and a C, back for wave two, up for one and back for two, um, and up for one and back for two. Um, I could also do this differently as well. I could have this um, moved over here as, as the A, B and C in here, and then up for one here and back for two here, and so on. It's a very powerful third wave about to occur here. Um, it's not that we're going to miss it. Um, and I've also labelled this in a slightly different way as well, where we have this as wave one over here. Not that none of this makes a, a difference at the moment, but one of the things that made this a little bit more bullish here for us is the simple fact that it took this top out here um, and gave us five waves up here. So then last time we spoke, we were looking for this to move back into 10,800, which is the 61.8% mark here. And normally... If I can just clean that up a little bit. On the long side here, we would normally take the top out here, but if we were going to work with that, well, then we would also need to work with the 11,000 here as well. So with the 11,000 here, we'd normally look for the first high above the level, some sort of ABC correction, and then start moving into it once it's developed support there. Um, it hasn't got support um, just yet here, but we could also move this down into this space here. So if I just took this on the hourly chart here, um, that would look a little bit like this here. So if we called this wave one up here and we had this one as an A wave here, a B wave here, and then all the way down for a C wave here, then um, of wave two here, then we can look for the upside here. So I've got five waves in this first little move here as, as uh, wave one and two here. So, um, but this can also, be, I've just got to be careful from this high here, from this high here down to this low here. I can move that across here now. So from that high to that low here, this is the 50, 60% retracement. So if this market's going to fail, this is where it's going to fail from. Okay, and if it does fail and move down from here, let's just say that it moves down through here, then we need to be short below the 10.8 because last time we spoke, we have a look at another chart, but last time we spoke, we, we had this green line on this low here, um, but now we've got this, this is a 61.8% retracement level here, so we can use this support. So in terms of being short, we can simply be short under the 10.8, but otherwise it doesn't interest us unless this is breached here. So as far as logic goes, then we can look to go long on the, um, on, on the upside uh, here. But just to be sure to be sure, um, we've got closest largest number which is 10,900 here and this is what the market's doing it's got resistance here we got the 50 60 percent retracement level here we've got this support here if all of this fails in this area here and moves down then we can start to look at the short side here and if you want to jump the gun on the short side well then we need to look at this 
um, wherever that high may be, you, we might have to adjust that. It may go a little bit higher, but um, the thing here is that um, you would need to find to confirm that it's I've got this is the low here to short. You could also short it here based on where this high is here um, in this space here and gravitating to the closest largest number, which would be 10,000. 850. If that became the retested resistance, well then you could look to short from, from this point here. Once it became the resistance though, and you have to understand what resistance is because the market moves just really simply. Market moves down, market bounces back up, market moves through, makes that reference point low here, um, and then you put the short position one point under that low here and then if that's breached then you're on your way so you can get a smaller position in here earlier on the short side and then under 10.8 and then we can start building it to the downside but as it goes at the moment we want to get our first trade just above here and just making it a small trade and then we can look to build up here once we've got support up here so market move up react first high above the level corrective move look to cut across here into here, along here, and then we can move up from there. So we've got that safer setup here. It's been tested as support here. So small position, a bit larger position here, and then we can look to build up into this space here. Um, so that's kind of where we are. So I'm, I know there's half the world's bearish, half the world's positive, or probably most of the world is bearish um, in markets, and um, there's a few positives there. I like to... Um, to not take either side unless there's like strong enough evidence in terms of the structure of the uh, the wave structure within in Elliot and otherwise we just have to take the next logical step with everything um, and move cautiously um, step by step um, so that's what I'm doing and if we do that then we'll come out of this um, all right and we'll be on the right side at the right time and we'll be building into those positions. So steady as she goes, Captain. Uh, enjoy the weekend. Cheers.